make this little cutie for your Valentine this year, or simply change the color of the hat to match whatever your occasion is. There's almost no seaming involved in this, and as long as you have a little experience with a Migurumi, magic ring, and working with fuzzy yarn, you'll have no trouble at all. The step-by-step -step tutorial is coming up. We'll break this project down into two videos so we cover everything in as much detail as you need. First things first, the pattern can be viewed for free at behooked.com or you can buy the PDF to print or save for later. Just check the description below for a link to both of those options. Okay, we'll start off with the arms. You'll work with color A for the majority of this project, so get color A ready and make a magic ring with six single crochet. When you have it all set up, you can pull the ring off your finger so it's a little more comfortable to work. Just make sure that you're working the single crochets around the loop as well as the tail so it'll draw up as it should when you're ready. If you need a little more help with the magic ring, if this is something you haven't done before or you're unfamiliar with it, I'll include a link to a more beginner friendly tutorial. When you have all of your stitches in place, pull the tail to draw it up. Then find the first stitch and single crochet there. We'll work in a spiral for these rounds, so always mark the first stitch with your stitch marker. Now make another single crochet in the same stitch for an increase. Then single crochet once in the next two stitches. Then we need to increase again, so make two single crochets in the next stitch. Then make one single crochet in the remaining two stitches to finish round two. You should have a total of eight stitches. Round three is really simple. Remove the marker and single crochet there. Then replace the marker so you know which stitch is the first and continue with one single crochet in each remaining stitch. Moving on to round four, we'll decrease a little bit here. So remove the marker and you can go ahead and stuff the tail inside to get that out of the way. So our decrease for this project is a single crochet two together, but we'll work it in the front loops only so it looks a little neater. This is an invisible decrease technique. Then yarn over and pull through all three loops to finish it up. And of course, don't forget to mark that with your stitch marker because it's your first stitch of this new round. Then make a single crochet in the next two stitches. Followed by another single crochet, two together, using only the front loops. Then single crochet in the last two stitches. And this will bring your stitch count back to six. Now to start round five, remove the marker and single crochet there. Then continue with one single crochet in every stitch.
You'll work this repeat, one single crochet, in every stitch for this round number 5, and also for round 6 through 12. When you finish that up, it'll look something like this. Go ahead and remove the marker and slip stitch into that marked stitch to sort of correct this jog we have going on because of working in a spiral. Then fasten off. Again, I'm stuffing the tail and the arm. I'm not actually going to stuff these with any polyfill stuffing because they get a little too stiff and a little bit strange and they tend to stick out. They actually work out really well if you leave them as is and the tail gives them just enough stuffing. Now just repeat the previous steps to make a second arm. Next up, we'll crochet the legs. Make a magic ring, just as you did for the arms, with six single crochets. and pull the tail to draw it up to finish off the first round. To start round two, find the first stitch and single crochet there, and of course mark that with the stitch marker as the first stitch of round two. We'll increase here, so make another single crochet in the same stitch. Then make one single crochet in the next stitch. followed by two single crochets in the next for another increase. Then keep going with that repeat, single crochet in the next, followed by two single crochets in the one after that. You'll repeat that to the end of the round, and when you do, you'll have a total of nine stitches. Rounds three and four have the same repeat. You'll make one single crochet in every stitch. Now don't forget to mark the first stitch of the round with your marker and carry that as you go, just so you know where the beginning of the round is. Okay, for round five, we'll decrease just a little bit. You'll work that invisible single crochet two together first. Followed by a single crochet in the next stitch. Then single crochet two together again, working in those front loops. And single crochet in the next. Then work one more decrease and single crochet in the last stitch. Now this will bring your stitch count back down to six. Moving on to rounds six through 10, they all have the same repeat. Make one single crochet in every stitch. Of course, don't forget to mark the first stitch with your stitch marker so you can keep track of the beginning of the round. And when you finish those five rounds, your leg will look something like this. Since you're crocheting the first leg now, we can fasten off. 
So remove the stitch marker, slip stitch into that marked stitch to fix the jog, and then fasten off. And you can stuff the tail inside. But on the second leg, after you repeat all of these previous steps to crochet that second leg, you don't want to fasten off because we'll continue with the body with the same working loop. So at this point, you should have both legs crocheted, one finished up and the other left at the end of round 10. And we'll start now with round one of the body. You'll single crochet in the first three stitches of the first leg, the one where your active loop already is. Then pick up the other leg and single crochet in any stitch first. And continue to single crochet in every remaining stitch on that leg. That'll set you up to jump back over to the first leg and you'll single crochet in the remaining three stitches. Now we'll increase on round two of the body. So make two single crochets in every stitch. That'll bring your stitch count from 12 up to 24. Okay, moving on to round number three, we'll increase again. This time, make two single crochets in the first stitch. Followed by one single crochet in the next. Then two single crochets, followed by one. That's the repeat for this round. You're increasing every other stitch. If you've been counting correctly, you should work one single crochet in the last stitch. This will bring your stitch count up to 36. Now for rounds four and five, you'll simply work one single crochet in every stitch. Moving on to round number six, we'll decrease a little bit here to start the shaping. So work an invisible single crochet two together over the first two stitches. And one single crochet in the next stitch. Then repeat, single crochet two together, followed by one single crochet. And when you get to the end of round six, your last stitch should be a single crochet. That'll bring your stitch count back down to 24. And next up, rounds seven, eight, and nine are worked in the exact same way. One single crochet in every stitch. So when you finish rounds seven, eight, and nine, your bear will look something like this. Now we'll decrease again just a little bit for round 10 to continue the shaping. So make your invisible single crochet two together over the first two stitches. Followed by a single crochet in the next two stitches.
Then repeat. Single crochet two together. One single crochet in the next two stitches. Now, if you've done everything correctly, your last two stitches will be single crochets, and that'll bring your stitch count to 18. Moving on to rounds 11 and 12, one single crochet in every stitch. So that's a lot of work we've covered so far. When you get that finished, this is what your bear will look like. Now we're gonna decrease one more time before we start to wrap things up. So work your invisible decrease over the first two stitches. Followed by a single crochet in the next. And repeat, invisible single crochet two together, one single crochet. When you get to the end of that round, your last stitch should be a single crochet. And your stitch count will now be 12. For rounds 14 and 15, go ahead and make one single crochet in every stitch. That does it for part one. In the next video, we'll attach the arms, crochet the head, add the facial features, and make the hat. Don't forget to check the description for the pattern, which will give you the full supplies list and all the details you need to complete this project. Remember, you can see it for free online, or you can purchase the PDF from my shop if you would rather have a copy in hand. I'll have both links in the description so you can do what works best for you. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so if you're into this sort of thing. It's absolutely free for you to do that, and it helps me out in so many ways, and it helps me keep doing what I'm doing. Happy hooking, and I'll see you in the next one.